game of can you top this always seems to top all. As Dave Nero looks on, Matt Hoffman gets set to drop in. Yesterday in prelims, we got a taste, just a taste of what this guy can do. Expect something bigger and better today. Hoffman playing the strategist, just making sure he got into the 10-man finals. He hasn't competed a lot. Late grab with the bar spin, hands off, feet off, he crashes. Hoffman has a chronically bad right shoulder. Had it operated on three times. Had it fixed up again in January of 97. Came back and in his first competition blew out the shoulder again. Now he returns to competition. The difference between Matt Hoffman and the rest of the stunt world is the fact that he goes bigger and he goes faster than anybody on the ramp. He knows where to land on the ramp. And Hoffman now is in the uncharacteristic position of having to play catch up. And Matt using the extensions, grinding on the pegs, dropping back in, and you get a lot of speed from there. It's key for Matt to stay on the rest of the run. Tail whip. Hoffman checks the clock. He's got 20 seconds left. He's a little more than halfway through his run. 90 seconds maximum. Matt likes to end things in big, big fashions. Double tail! Oh, he got hammered! Trying a double tail whip. And that's what I mean, he was gonna step it up. Now coming off this wall here, Matt does a lot of different things in the air. He's holding on to the handlebars with his knees, first a no-hander, then a no-footer, but he missed the pedal with his right foot. That's where he went wrong. And then coming up here, you're blind because you're looking right into the sun, a huge tail whip. He goes down and he lands that one perfectly. That was the first one, a single tail whip. A little bit later on, he tried the double tail whip. Degree of difficulty counts for a lot. He's just two tenths of a point behind current leader Dennis McCoy. Well, he gets just four tenths of a point lower in his second run than his first, and that, for the moment, presents us with a three way tie for second. And one of the men in that tie is Matt Hoffman. After his first run, this is what happened to his bike the tire blew out. You saw the incredible release of air there. And Hoffman riding with a new tire here. The crowd will take you through most of this run. You know what to expect from Matt Hoffman. He's going for the sky. He's already changed up his run, Jack. Low landing there. Hoffman's really got to go for it here. His first run, he used the entire ramp. He used the extensions. Very low. Every time you get an opportunity to watch Matt Hoffman ride, you need to take advantage of it because you never know when it's gonna be the last run of his life. If not for the magnitude that he perceives of the X Games, Hoffman may have called it quits already for most of his competitive schedule. Matt is just having a good time right now. This is what it's all about right now, right here at the X Games with Matt Hoffman. It's not about winning, it's about the sport. He may throw something incredible here. Oh, and he gets slammed. That is it. And that may be it. Matt Hoffman is a special young man with a great talent. 
The bar is coming back at you twice in a row, and he's really high. The key thing there is his feet were on the back pegs, making that a rocket air. Here, he's like a rocket on this double tail whip attempt. He almost pulls it off. Let's see where he goes wrong. He's got the left foot barely on, could not pull that right foot around. But he is a legend, Matt Hoffman. A 93 again in the second round, and he currently is tied with Dennis McCoy and Jamie Beswick.